There's no damp course here, so there's damp can come up here. As you can see, that's wet. That's wet. As gradually as we can until that skip comes, just fell over some crap then. Right, good Wednesday morning. Wednesday the 7th of September. And um, we're back on the garage conversion slash sales slash window window booking job. Um, yesterday was a bit of a bit of a dead day yesterday. I didn't get a lot done. So today's like I have a reset and have another job. So a bit chaotic at the moment. There's our lintel to go across that concrete pad. The garage conversion is getting done last now because this uh, basically from that in the all that's coming out um, about 2.7 meters I think is coming out steels are going in so we're on to that today uh, that's and the reason why we're doing that is because we've got a garage door here we can take stuff straight out into the new skip when the skip arrives as you can see we're ready for a swap over there's the mortar we did half a mix yesterday through the whole lot away because we changed our mind about this um, but yeah Alex is currently as you can hear made a start in here and if you were listening to the video I, I made a start on this yesterday um, this was originally the garage in the house there's the original lintel for the front of the garage Everything, everything this way is an add-on and what they've done is they've just lowered the ceiling to go past this but what the customer's going to do is um, I think they're going to take all this out and vault this ceiling as you can see in that roof I'm going to vault that, put the velox in, plaster down here, round the beam and then bring the ceiling to the one so this ceiling is getting raised as well so it's going to be a lot higher um, what else are we going to say? Oh yeah, the, because of the extension you can see with the floorboards change that wall's been taken out so we're not supporting a wall with the steels all we're supporting is the floor joists which is going to make things a lot easier the, floor the steels can go straight up against the floor joists so um, first thing is make a start on this side get the rest of this ceiling out pile it up for now until we get our skip and yeah, that's it for now so we'll stick you on time lapse as usual and get the rest of the ceiling down. We're down. <coughs> this section's had a new roof put in. See the new spars up there and the new felt. So this section, these these old timbers, I'm not sure if they're doing much really. Don't think they are. So there's a, there's a good chance they can come out to get the vaulted ceiling done, which should look nice coming up there, back down, up and around. Yeah, everything's down. This is all the suspended ceiling that was up there. Obviously there's a, quite a bit of plumbing to sort out to get everything back up into the void. Tidy all the wiring up, which is a bit of a mess. And there you go. That is all in our way now. So we're sweating a bit for the skip. So as soon as that skip comes we can shift this. We can get everything propped. We might even concentrate on the door there today. I think I'm only going to prop this side. The other side's rendered, so I'm not even going to prop it because that's all that's above it. A tiny little pike, so we should be okay with that. 
So I'm going to nip off a quick, quick break now and hope that skip turns up while we're sat in the van. So I'll see you in a bit. Right, after break now, so we're going to pause in here. Obviously, we're at a standstill, we can't prop anything like that. I'm just going to bring the acros in, they're ready for propping. Because they are on <coughs> in our way on this side. We had a few, a uh, couple of, well, we had a dodgy bloke here yesterday, having a mooch around, so we put everything out of sight. So, we're going to start propping this side. It's the old end of the house. Um, and like I say, we're coming from there. And we're going to there. So we can get this propped. We'll just get the prop in front of that bloody light there. Yeah, but that's, that's the plan, start taking this down. Um, take it down, I don't know where we're going to put it, but we can start. So we'll set the camera up in here while we get get going in here. See you in a bit. Well, we've got our bruise, so we're, we're keeping optimistic, so... I don't know who I'll, the camera will be going to, Dad or me, so either of us will see you in a bit.
So, quick update. There's still no skip. This afternoon. Oh, is it that's this afternoon? All right, well, it doesn't do as much uh, good now, does it? But it looks like we've done something now. We've got all this propped up and the R Robbies have returned. So I think Dad's gonna get started on that door in a bit. So while he's doing that bricking up, I am gonna get the stitch drilling done, John, get the stitch drilling done for all this, for the wall coming out for the steel and the wall coming out for the door. So it's just about trying to get things going as gradually as we can until that skip comes. Just fell over some crap then. So um, this afternoon, fingers crossed it arrives on 12 o'clock on the dot. <laughs> When's that ever happen? But. We've reached a point now where we are getting pretty screwed. Because if you look there, that's a big pile of shit that's right in the way of the rest of this. Oh, well, that's got to go at some point too. But thankfully, it's all glued on. But anyway, um, and still no skip and no current sign of it. So we're kind of stuck at the moment because you saw the other room. It's just like this, but full of plaster and timber. Now it's like this with bricks. So, hurry up, skip people. <laughs> but yeah, it's uh, very cluttered and I don't like that. So, I hope this skips come soon just so we can buddy get all this crap moved and we can actually move about. So, there's your update. We'll uh, let you know when the skip arrives, if it arrives. Mark on the six o'clock, it'll probably arrive.
right, 19%, make this quick. Right, I've knocked the cheeks out. Same again, always open up the cavity, because this is going to be ripped up now, the door's gone. So this, is, this cavity runs through now. Luckily, the poly's got glue in it, so we've lost a few loose ones, but the, the majority it stayed in. Um, same here, open that up. Master just snuck a bit of this render off on this corner. So when Rob patches it, I've got to get up to the and there's a load of shite in the cavity. Oh yeah, that's the other thing. If you see the video of our house, same same's happened here. Built across, and all they've done here is just put sand cement across it. So you've got the damp course there, but there's no damp course here, so there's, there's damp can come up here. So it's not not a good. So what I'm doing is, see, you can see it's damp. There. So I'm getting this under here. Taking this out. As you can see, that's wet. That's wet. And taking the cap. Emptying this cavity back out. See, it's all damp. So we're going to get all this out. Take it down. Too coarse. So we're going to have any problems with damp. Also a bit of crap in the cavity there, so I'm going to drag that. Get that out. So yeah, and then I'm um, going to fire the block work up today. So it's sealed up. Get on the get on the brickwork and the block work tomorrow on the outside. So yeah, um, I'll stay on time, that's why I get this little bit done. Right, we're on with this now. It's not cut, take 40 I think, so it's all cuts, one full block per course. Uh, we forgot the screw ties, so I've put some of these six inch grabbers in, which are absolutely solid. So they're all tied in, and I've got the cavity ties there. The insulation goes in when we do the brickwork and the block work on the outside. So, a bit chaotic at the moment. Should be done next 15, 20 minutes, and then put away. Alex is around the front getting tied up as best he can. What time did the skip turn on? Um, three o'clock? Probably, yeah. Yeah, so he's uh, rushing trying to get filled up as best he can. Let's go through there before I build it. Right. Catch in a bit.
there we go, back door gone. Well, the inside skin anyway. So it used to be back door combination frame. Now it's two separate windows. So they've still got the light, don't need the door. So I have a tidy up down there. Ready to pick it up tomorrow. And have a tidy up in here. And then we're going to take the acro out so that door opens because that's the sink in there. Because the kitchen's temporary, the sink's in the garage, so we need to move the acro so they can get access into there. So and then that'll be done. That'll be us and then we're off.